Are you delusional if you think of yourself as a pet parent? At least one New York Magazine writer thinks so. <laughs> got a confession to make. I am a veterinarian who has for nearly 25 years referred to people as pet parents, referred to myself as pet parent. It was quite a surprise this week to see a blog posting on NewYorkMagazine.com's The Cut and I quote, it may be a gentle delusion to think of your pet as your child, but it's still a delusion. As a veterinarian, I have struggled with a very similar issue of potential delusion. Am I a real doctor? For my entire professional career, if I ever say, I'm Dr. Ward, people instantly have to qualify, but he's a veterinarian. He's not a real doctor. So I kind of get the pet parent problem. For me, calling yourself a pet owner sounds transactional. You bought it. You got it. It's a thing. And I certainly don't feel that my pets are things that I own. And I think that's where we struggle with the language. We don't have a good word, good analog to use. So we refer to parents. We think of ourselves as parenting because it's a loving, nurturing, caring. Parent is about the closest word we have to it. We struggle in the world of animals with language. There's a huge debate on what do we call my assistants. Traditionally, we've called them veterinary technicians, and there's a move afoot, one of which I support, to call them veterinary nurses, as they're called everywhere else in the world. This language barrier really makes it tough because are we doctors? Are we nurses? Are we parents? Here's what the author writes. In stark contrast to pets, children are always trying to outgrow, outflank, and outsmart their parents. Children are cunning and devious with long memories and big plans. They don't just grow, they develop. I have two children of my own. I really don't commonly refer to them as being cunning and devious. Maybe there's something else going on here. My take home message for this whole debate on whether or not you should call yourself a pet parent, and that is, who cares? The reality is we have to tolerate each other. What does it hurt if you call yourself a pet parent versus a pet owner? Does it in any way negatively impact the world around us? In fact, I would argue that calling yourself a parent just simply reminds the world how much you really care. And make no mistake about it, human children are different than my animal children. Teach them different lessons. We have a different relationship. I mean, I totally get the boundaries and the barriers. So to think of me as being delusional when I use the same terminology to apply to the relationship I have with my dogs and cats as I do with my children is a little bit offensive. If you're out there struggling with what should you call yourself, call yourself whatever you're most comfortable with. You know in your heart how you feel about your pet. When I think back to why I became a veterinarian, I think of the relationships that we share, the life that we are able to somehow build with our pets. I think of myself as being a real doctor. I think of my staff as being truly nursing staff. I think of the people that I help as being the parental figures in that pet's life. I think this is much ado about nothing. I think that we need to learn as a society to get along with each other. Some of this tension has spilled over into my little corner of the world. No, I'm not delusional. I am a proud pet parent. That's it, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'm a veterinarian who is passionate about helping pets and people, and thank you so much for listening.